It here, but it doesn't matter which one you call me. Anyway, I'm welcoming you back to Let's Play Pikmin. In the last part, we bent, we went back to the impact site. In the last part, we went back to the impact site and got the last ship piece there, as well as raised, as well as we, we raised up our yellow and blue Pikmin and red Pikmin. Oh, I could have just said Pikmin, but wait, we rate, we raised up our Pikmin population. <laughs> I can't even talk today. I, no, I can, but I'm talking badly. Alright, well, whatever. And in this part, we're going to go to the forest naval and get some more ship pieces there. Anyway, I actually had a failed recording of this here. Yeah, the forest naval. Where I haven't actually played the game in a little while here. Uh, but, yeah. All right, what we're gonna do in this part first, uh, first of all, starting off here, we're going to go get and get a ship piece that is in the water. We're gonna get want to get out around twenty six. No, wait, wait. Yeah, twenty six blues. Okay, <laughs> never mind that. I don't know why we're doing that. But, uh, you want to come down here, not down there, but you want to come over here and go inside here. You can either, you can also go, if you were to have gone that way and gone down here, you can get to the same place that I'm going to. Um, down here, there are some bomb rocks if you want to get, uh, your yellow Pikmin and get some more bomb rocks, but I think it's not really worth it to get these certain bomb rocks instead of the other bomb rocks that there are, unless you're running, unless you ran out of the other ones, I, this, these are the only other bomb rocks that I know of, uh, but you have to get your yellow Pikmin down here, uh, have them build up this thing if they want them to climb up, or just throw them up, and then you have to throw them back up there, which I don't think it's really worth it, but if you want to, they're there, uh, I found my number one Ionium jet. Unfortunately, this puts out a slightly odoriferous exhaust, but it does propel me to escape velocity in an instant. The stench is a small price to pay for such performance. Yeah, anyway, the reason we didn't get this the first time we were here is we didn't really have it th that many blue Pikmin. We could have came and gotten it, uh, but by the time we really had enough, we were just doing other stuff, and, you know, it really doesn't matter. Said. It doesn't matter. Yep. Okay. Alright. Okay, now that we've done that. Second thing we're going to do. We're going to go get some more blue Pikmin out of the onion. We're going to take a little shortcut up here. Shortcut up here. Come on. There you go. Uh, we want to get out some more blue Pikmin because there's another ship piece in the water here that we're going to go get. What the... How did they... Are they the ones... No, they're the ones carrying the ship piece. How did they get over there? Okay, we're gonna have to go check that out. Cause what the... Alright, but any... I didn't even show the reason I brought up the map to begin with. We're gonna be going over here to get this ship piece right here. And it's in the water. There's some enemies you need to fight so they don't kill your Pikmin while they're carrying it back. So, we're gonna get a... about... 54 out. Yeah, you're really. It makes it easier if you have that many. Just, I'll just let, tell you that now. Actually, let's get a little bit more out. 70. 70 is good. That is really going to help 
help us just kill that those enemies fast. Now let's get some nectar here, but any minute now that ship piece is going to be going up there. And it's going to interrupt me from getting my nectar, but we're going to start now because this is a time-consuming game, and we must save as much time as possible. And... I don't even know where I'm going with that anymore, but yeah. There we go, we got our sales and other ship piece, and then my voice was talking in a high voice and act and I don't know why I was doing that, but whatever. Number one, Ionium Jet. This is... If this is damage, I'll be in dire straits. I will have to run a system check as soon as I can. I've never covered 11 out of 30 parts. If I can find just one more, I should be able to increase it, my ship's capabilities. And I don't know why I read that, because I really don't need to. Alright, so we have one leaf that came down here. Alright. Now these bridges right here, you could have built you could have built them up. There are another way to get your Pikmin to come back to be able to come back up here. That way is a, the shortest way, but this way can also be helpful if you just want to get around the enemies. You have to build both of these up, but I don't think I'm going to because I have that path over there open. And I don't think I'm going to. Now, there's the Anglescent Flint Beetle, but I'm not gonna attack it because Oh yeah. These things, I don't know if I've explained them before, but if I have, and I, then I'm sorry, but I'm going to explain them again because I don't remember me, me explaining them. These are fiery blowhogs. They squirt fire out of their little nose-mouth thing there. I'm pretty sure it's a nose It's a nose and a mouth combined, but uh, you want to have red Pikmin fight it. It can't hurt them except, except it unless it throws them off of it. It will shake them and it throws them off. And if it's by the water, the red Pikmin can land in the water, so you want to be careful. Anyway, these guys, Wally Wogs, I've said their name before, but I'm not, I haven't explained them. They jump up in the air and they can kill your Pikmin if, if they land on them. They can kill a lot of Pikmin, so you want to be careful. It's safest to throw the Pikmin on top of it like this and just let them hurt, the, hurt it from there. But it's also more time consuming and I'm going to do it the risky way, which is swarming it. And don't you run away from me. We haven't finished our battle. How dare you? That is just me. Okay, I'm just kidding. Alright, no, 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 I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait. Uh, you want to try and swarm it. If you're going to swarm it, you want to try and swarm it as soon as it hits the ground. Not when it's about to go up. You want to try and kill it before it goes back up in the air. And there we go. We did good with that one. Now, in the failed recording, I had a Wally Wall kill a lot of my, a lot of the blue Pikmin here. Uh, the reason being, this one, I, I had no trouble with those two with swarming it, but this one, this one gave me a lot of trouble. So let's see if we can do without that this time. Come on, come on, come on. Don't go up in the air. Don't go up in the air. I went up in the air last time. Don't go up in the air this time. Yeah! Now, this over here, you might see that this looks like a glass bottle, either a soda bo soda bottle, or a beer bottle, or wine bottle, or a uh, water bottle. Actually, no, I don't think they have water in glass bottles. Well, I, I think they do, but usually water bottles come in uh, plastic, but that looks more glass, but whatever. Anyway, uh, during a prep, uh, during Miyamoto, the guy that, Sekiro Miyamoto, the guy that made this game, actually said that during a conference, I believe it was, that this game is meant that, that this game takes place after the extinction of humans on the planet Earth. So we're actually on Earth right now after the extinction of humans, and Olimar and the Pikmin are about the size of ants. So yeah, that's a interesting little thing. And in fact, Pikmin 2 is actually built around a theme like that that has to do with you see a lot of stuff that used to be human stuff, but I'm not going to talk about that because that would just be spoiler -ish. but it's not spoiling it by just saying that. Or, crap, I didn't even do it the way that I was going to. Oh, I lost one. Okay, that's not as bad as losing a lot of them. Crap. Alright, come on. Come on, Wally World. Oh, why did I just call it a Wally World? Uh, I'm so sorry. What the? It's the anti-dioxin filter. This fits over the... Rockets exhaust the. I'm sorry. I'm just shocked that this happened. This fits over the rockets' exhaust ports and filters out all, all disease-causing agents from the ship's exhaust. 
This means I'll be able to move around without polluting the planet's atmosphere. I feel worlds better. And I can't believe that came up when I was hurting the wall when I was attacking the Wally Wall. That's just what surprised me, but yeah, we're Everyone should follow Almar's example. We're going to save the environment. No. I think we only lost a couple pick Pikmin here. Or not a couple, I mean Alright, I think that's at its max amount. Now, when I said before, I think items can only be up to double. Oh, crap. Alright, yeah, you wanna, as soon as it gets out of the water, you wanna call your Pikmin back, because you're gonna wanna have some red Pikmin carry that back, because... Uh, the fire enemies here. So, yeah, let's get out of here. Crap, these guys were over here the whole time. I'm glad they didn't get hurt. Oh, yeah, those were the Pikmin we saw over here earlier. That must They must have fallen down here. Now, this is probably risky, but... I don't even know why I'm doing this. Why am I even go taking them all up this passage right here? Wow, did I really just do that? Yeah, they all got up here. Wow. Now, anyway, what was I saying now? I was talking about... About what? Oh, yeah. Before, whenever I... Uh, said that it's around double. No, it's not really around double. I've noticed now a little bit more lately that it's It's like times two not no not times two but plus 20 of the amount that it requires Or no it's not exactly double, but it's around that. I, I'll just say that. That's pre I'm pretty sure it's around that amount there. Now, uh, we're gonna put a lot of our blues away here because we don't really need them as much anymore. So let's put, our, let's put all them away. There we go. Now, uh, what we're going to do now, we're gonna get out all our reds here. Uh, oh, that's right, yeah. You have to wait until they go back in the onion for it to count as them not being out in the field. So yeah, but anyway, we're gonna get out our, all of our reds here. Now let me tell you, let me show you what we're gonna be doing. Uh, we're gonna be going to get this ship piece first off, have the exact amount carry that back, and then we're gonna go fight a boss over here. And I'll get more about in, into that boss whenever we get over there. But we're gonna save the other ship pieces for later, either later today or. Whenever. Um, we're also gonna try and carry back the boss's corpse and give it to the reds here. That should give us a good amount of red Pikmin. No, don't break that open. It would be nice to flower you guys, but the rocks take too long to break open. And if there were grass, I would give it to you, but uh, the grass is gone here. I'm pretty sure there might be grass somewhere else here, but I'm not gonna take the time to go look for it. Just, yeah, right there, but I'm not gonna go up there. We're already down here, and yeah, they, we should be okay. This boss doesn't require too much speed, but it does, it does sort of, but, oh, okay, let's get this guy. Well, he's down here, come on, come on. I didn't need to open up that geyser, but whatever. I don't know if I explained it before, but geysers get all my up places. I talked about it a little bit in the last part, but I didn't really explain them before, I just kind of said we need to open up this geyser, but yeah, it's kind of obvious, but whatever. Alright, how many of these does this require? Make sure we don't get our picking in the water there. It requires 40, we're gonna put- no, not that many. Come on, get on it. Don't fight the enemies. Alright, there's still 10 more than we need. 53. Alright, there's more than 10 more than we need, I can- don't need Let me on it. Alright, that's good enough. We have enough. Fine, get yourself some nectar. I won't have enough time to carry back the the boss's corpse, because it disappears the next day. I don't really care if we don't get the ship piece back in time, because that won't take too long to do the next day if we don't get it done. So come on. Enough enough nectar, enough nectar. Alright, now this boss over here is called the 
Okay. Oh, yeah. Another thing about the bread bugs is I said they can't kill Pikmin. They can't if you're attacking it. But if you put uh, an amount of Pikmin on there, like I said, they go after the small enemies. Well, if you put one Pikmin on the small enemy, it has more strength than one Pikmin. So it will carry that one Pikmin back and to its ne nest. And if it gets to its nest and the that one Pikmin is still on there, it, that Pikmin will die. So. Yeah, they can kill Pikmin, but not in the way of fighting them, just that they're holding on to their items. Now, this bus boss is called the, the Puff Stool. Now, you want to check its its bottom here, but uh, what it does is, once you attack it to a certain amount here, it'll flip over, and you want to throw Pikmin onto its top, but uh, you don't want to, whenever it flips back over, you want to call them back immediately, because... Oh, don't kill, don't kill it yet! Don't kill it yet! Okay, I want to show off what it does here. If you get some of its, your Pikmin under there, they will turn into what they are called Puff Stool. Antidioxin filter. The laws of deep space require all ships to eliminate all pollutants. Oh, yeah, it's, we've increased the dolphin's capabilities. Hooray. Can go to a new area that I'm not going to go to yet. But, yeah. Alright, now... Let's get back to the game. Now, this turns the the Pikmin into bad things that will attack you. Okay, I'll probably have to show it off in another flap. I found the Omega Stabilizer. I absolutely must have this piece if my battered ship is ever to fly straight again. It has steered me through countless deep space storms. That, and it looks rather cool. Hey guys, what you here on a different file to show you what happens if the puff stool actually gets its poisonous gas yeah it's actually poison gas but uh it's a different type of poison gas onto the pikmin here so let's attack it come on come on come on come on attack it oh no wally wall don't you interfere don't you interfere you're bad bad so yeah, when it gets its gases out, they turn into little... But they follow you around, and they try and attack you. But the only way to turn them back into Pikmin is if you shake them off like that, they turn back into Pikmin. Otherwise, they die if other Pikmin attack them. And where do the other ones go? Are you telling me that the Wally wa You jerk! You killed them! Or Right, well, whatever. This is a separate file, so it doesn't really matter. I only came here to show off that, and of course I say it doesn't really matter. It may not be it doesn't matter, but it's close. Anyway, back to the original file, and yeah. I'm gonna leave the ship piece there for the next day, because I really want to get some red Pikmin on. Actually, no, I think we have enough Pikmin to carry back this and that. Come on. I don't want to carry back that many. Come on. Come on. All right, no, we want to get this corpse back because we really want to get the reds. So population built up, but yeah. Anyway, the puff stool, what it does is it turns them into that uh, little Pikmin that attack you, and the only way that you can get, hey, the only way that you can get them to be, um, the only way that you can get them to not attack you, the only way you can get them to turn back into Pikmin is to shake them off you when they attack you. If you don't, they can ju they will just die if you have your other Pikmin attack them, but I really hope we can get this corpse back, so hurry up, Reds, please. I'm gonna need to stand by them in case they don't make it. Okay, hopefully they can make it. What the heck? Why are they going that way? I clearly have- okay, this is only a clear path if that thing's open, or else it's just a longer way. Not really, actually. I don't know why they- Great, now it's not gonna get back in time. Oh, well, whatever. The Reds are still high enough in population. 
If it doesn't get back... Yeah, it's not gonna make it. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think there are any over there. Nope. Now, I'm not gonna accidentally skip this cutscene again, because I don't like skipping this cutscene, but yeah. I'm actually gonna go back... And... Yeah, but I've already showed that on another file. You, you'll have seen me have it pop up on screen, but yeah, here we go. I need to stop in trying to make weird voices for some reason. And no, I didn't think I left any behind. Crap. Seven days since impact. The Pikmin that I did not bring back to the Onion all vanished overnight. It may well be that they have fallen prey to the planet's nocturnal creatures. An ugly thought. Perhaps this is why they follow me into the atmosphere. I am starting to grasp the circles of life, the cycles of life on this planet. How did I pronounce that circles? Wow. Okay, you can all you can all go s troll me in the comments now that I've done that. No, I'm just kidding. But I don't know how I did that. I must have just been really thinking about going back and recording something else on another file that I was going to do. But wow, that is just. And with all that said, thank you guys for watching this part of Pikmin. And yes, we've unlocked the dip distant spring. And in the next part, we're going to go we're going to go back to the forest naval and get some more ship pieces. I don't think we're gonna finish it up. We have two more times going there should finish it up. This is the way I usually do things. I finish uh, I, I go to the forests of hope, get uh, all the ship pieces except for three. Like you can only you can there's three that you can't get without future type the future type of Pikmin the blues yeah we need the blues for the other pieces there and then I go to the forest naval get uh the blues there and as many ship pieces as I can on the first day then I go to the impact site finish it up go back to the forest naval keep going there until I finish it up then go to the distant spring go there and start doing things. And finish it up, then go back to the Forest of Hope and finish it up, and then, yeah. But that's what I do, and that's how I like to do things, so I think I'm gonna do that in this playthrough. But thank you guys for watching, and in the next part of Pikmin, we're going to go back to the Forest Naval and get some more ship pieces there. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys then. Bye. Also, by the way, I think that's kind of my outro now, going, saying, so thank you guys for watching, and in the next part we're going to go do this, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys then, bye. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys then, bye. That's pretty much, I think that's kind of my outro now, but yeah. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys then, bye. Thank you.